All right, here we go, sifting polymer sand for our zinc mold. There I am, singing along with the radio, being aware of my overhead camera. It's attached to a chandelier. Here's Dominic pushing down the sand for me in the corners. That wooden frame is called a flask, and I'm pushing the polymer sand around a mold there. You gotta push it real tight down, and then you gotta get a tool and tamp it. I was doing it wrong. There's Dom showing me how it's really done. You gotta really tamp it hard there. Every time you see my head in front of the camera, it's because I forgot that my overhead camera was right there and I wasn't aware of it. And there I am tamping. There's Dom's head, obviously. He's not aware of it either. We're new to this video process. But there he goes. He's, he's planing it, he's tamping it, he's planing it. I mean, we kind of got sand all over the place. Um, but look, there he is picking it up, putting it away. Here he goes, he's pulling the mold out. And uh, there's our beautiful, beautiful crucible made out of a dollar store stainless steel ladle. I'm brushing the sand off of it. However did the sand get there? And uh, we're getting ready and I'm about to pour out those pennies. I've washed them in white vinegar and salt and brushed them with a toothbrush. Got them all clean. Now pennies after 1982 are made out of zinc with just a slight copper makeup. We'll call it a foundation <laughs> on the outside edges. And um, if you melt it, it turns into this beautiful silvery zinc liquid metal, which you're not gonna see for a bit. Just keep your eye on the pennies though. He's holding the torch underneath them. I believe zinc melts at 800 degrees Fahrenheit. And we have a nice bucket of water down there in the lower right hand corner for safety reasons for those of you who are concerned. And you'll see that the pennies are starting to turn into liquid just at the edges there. And they're turning into, they, they sort of look like little shells of pennies on top. They're changing color. It's very subtle. I, oh, there's my foot. See my foot next to the bucket? That means it's time to scrape the dross. But I didn't bring something to scrape it into, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the mold. Watch me grab the mold. Here I go. Hand up. There we go. I live dangerously. I'm gonna scrape that dross with a stainless, stainless steel spoon of my own. This is my favorite part. Look at how beautiful and shiny that melted zinc is. And we're gonna pour that right into the mold. And now he's gonna pull it out with needle nose pliers and quench it in our orange bucket. See that steam coming off the sand? That's not toxic zinc gas, that's oil burning right off. I hope you like our video. Please subscribe.